If you've recently gotten engaged or married, or are even just thinking about it, you may be considering changing your name. Here are five things you probably didn't know about surnames and changing or not changing your last name. Number one, names are important. Names play a key role in identifying us. They're how we introduce ourselves and how our friends and family come to think of us as distinct individuals. But our names, and especially our surnames, also tie us to our families and communities. They tell others who we are and where we came from. And to some extent, our names can even influence where we're going. Studies show our names can affect our job prospects, our chances of fame, or our success in business. Names both differentiate us from and tie us to others. And that's why changing or not changing your name is a decision more complex and longer lasting than whether to serve chicken or fish at your wedding reception. Number two, surnames haven't been around forever. While having a single name you inherit from your father and that is passed from groom to bride might be the norm in countries like the US, UK and Australia, it's a relatively recent invention that is far from global. In Europe, it is reported that surnames only became popular during the Roman Empire. They largely died out in the Middle Ages before re-emerging in the form of bynames, indicating a profession or location. Poor, unskilled people at this time often had no surname at all. If your or your fiancé's last name, is something like Smith or Whitehall, chances are it started out as a by name. Number three, they're far from universal. In some countries, even today, not having a surname is the norm. Often it's only when people travel overseas they have to obtain a surname, adopting the king's or even repeating their first name. In some languages, such as Greek, Bulgarian, Russian, Slovak, Czech and Polish, some surnames have gendered versions. So daughters have the same name as their mother and sons as their father, but not all the same. In France, Greece, the Netherlands, Malaysia and Korea, I've read it's even technically illegal for women to use their husband's name. Even though many do so socially, Legally, a person's name remains the same as it was when they were born. In other cultures, such as in Spain, compound names are the norm. And in Japan, while taking the man's name is common, if the woman's family is higher ranking, the couple might adopt hers. Following the legalization of same-sex marriage in many countries around the world, more couples are today creating their own traditions. So, even though statistics show society might consider a bride adopting the groom's name normal, it is anything but universal. Number four, there are at least seven different approaches you can take. Although the vast majority of women, including same-sex couples, report changing their names, and the vast majority of men say they would not, there are many different approaches you can take. Aside from one partner changing their name to the others, or deciding not to make any change and retain your own names, there is also the option of hyphenation, adopting one surname as a middle name, blending your names, creating a new name, or using a mix. If you're interested in the pros and cons of each of these options, look out for my next video on last name options. Number five, it's up to you. When you're caught in the thick of wedding planning, it's easy to be pulled in one direction and then another, all by people with strong opinions loudly stated. But at the end of the day, your name belongs to you and you alone. Ultimately, you are the one who has to be happy with it. Names are important and whether you keep yours or change it to your partners, something entirely new or a combination is up to you. If you'd like to know more about last names, including how to decide on a name that will make you happy, and how to communicate your preference to your partner, family, friends, and colleagues, 
visit my website, sarahpassfoodneofidu.com slash you stole my heart. Or order your copy of You Stole My Heart, Do I Have to Take Your Name? <laughs>